Hello, this is my CSE 248 final project video presentation. I built the back end using Spring Boot, Java, and the front end with React, JS, HTML, and CSS. I'm using PostgreSQL database for my databases. And the back end is up and running, so we're going to start the React app, which will launch our local host in which we will demo the website. So a quick disclaimer before I begin. Um, these images are used are found in Google, so some of them may be copyrighted. So I wrote a quick disclaimer talking about fair use, which is stating that this is for educational purposes. No profit is made in this video. So with that being said, we're going to get started. So here we have featured restaurants, and they alternate every now and then. So it, it just updates depending on whenever something happens, like when somebody leaves a rating and stuff like that. So now. We have six restaurants that are displayed, but we actually have more restaurants. So we can go ahead and view all restaurants in the restaurant catalog. And this shows all the existing restaurants. Some of them already have ratings because I've populated the restaurants and users with data so that there's some interaction before the demo. That way I have something interesting to show and show how everything interacts with each other. So here, if we look at McDonald's, it has three ratings and the average rating is 4.33. And you can watch the reviews here. So Bill rated it five stars. Food was great. And if you just zoom it, Alex, he rated it. So two five-star reviews and one three-star review. Alex rated it twice because he ordered twice. Every time you order and your order's complete, you can leave a rating at the restaurant. And here you can search for restaurants. So you can search for Taco Bell or McDonald's or whatever you would like. And it would show. So this one also I left the review on already. And we're going to create a new account and we're going to create a, a restaurant and show all the interactions. So an owner can have a restaurant, add menu items. A driver can deliver these orders. He can accept the orders. He can complete the orders and get paid partially of the whole order total. The customer can place an order. He submits his payment. He receives his order and he can watch the process on his computer and see like what part of the process it's in, if it's in progress, if it's completed, all of that. So first name, we're going to just call it my name. Uh, let's remove one of these. Username, we're just going to do owner321. So email, we can just do anything, aol at aol.com, password. And this is of type owner. So once we register, we can now log in. So owner321. 123456 is the password that I set for him. The passwords are encrypted using bcrypt. And now we can see that this has all changed. Now it says log out and welcome owner321. So he has three windows, my account, analytics, and restaurant page. Under my account, he can do this. Pretty much he can update his information. He can change his name from Alex to let's say Rick. And he enters his password and submits and now his info is rick same thing with his address however this is more like a personal address it's not like the restaurant address since he is a restaurant owner he sets the restaurant address and his restaurant page so we're going to go to his restaurant page and create him a restaurant restaurant name we're going to create is demo restaurant test it's just something it could be anything image url can go to google Copy image location, because it's just a URL. Paste it. Category, we can say casual dining, address line. It could just be fake. So once you submit, restaurant submitted. And now the restaurant is live. Anybody can see it. But before anybody could see it, you should probably add some menu items. So you can look for something, find this cool looking burger. Copy image location. We're just going to add it here right away. I'm going to call it burger. Description, 600 calories. Price, $12.99. I'm going to add it. So now you have a burger. And you can add multiple, although you probably shouldn't because one burger is enough. One of each is good enough. But we're going to add multiple just to show how we can edit and delete items. So we're going to delete one of them. And then we're going to edit the other. So we're going to delete this one. And when you delete, it's gone. When you edit, you pretty much you can set the name so let's say new burger description 200 300 cal actually price we can do it cheaper and if we put no url it's just gonna 
pretty much like wipe it so it's still there it just has no picture so that's fine that's fine for like demo purposes and here you can see like you can now edit your restaurant change the information on it and stuff like that but we're just gonna leave it as it is go home um, actually let's log out sign up and now we're gonna create a customer account so we can place orders on that restaurant that we just created so this one is gonna be called Bob Bob username Bob three two one any email but you have to enter like a dot com email otherwise it doesn't let you log in or create an account so this one's gonna be of customer type so Bob three two one one two three four five six his password if you notice if you do an incorrect password and you try to log in it'll let you know login failed and it won't let you in but if you do put the correct password and it matches it logs you in so now as a user or a customer you have my account and active orders under my account it's the same thing you're able to edit your information under active orders you have no orders yet here you'll be able to see the status of your order but before you do that you can place an order by clicking here or you can just look at the catalog of stuff so the restaurant we just created was this one with casual dining it has no ratings yet and we're gonna see as you can see everything's empty we're gonna add two burgers one new burger you can remove it if you want you can change the quantity so this is gonna be like an expensive meal because that's four burgers and they're $12.99 one new burger $5.99 check out enter your card number and then expiration you can do anything really because it's not real payment card holder would be like John Snow it doesn't matter address line one two three fake and the reason that you can put address line here is because you can just buy food for your friend if you'd like it doesn't necessarily have to go to you so the total here comes out to 62.96 it factors in tax and everything once you hit pay you can see your receipt tax total you can close or view status so when you go to view status it's pretty much going to go to the same page that active order sends you to so if you go to status now this is your order it's pending and you are confirmed which means your order was placed like and then you're good to go so now you just have to wait so we're going to log in to another account and we're opening an incognito to show that the website can handle multiple users logging in and interacting at once so we're actually i already have a driver account that i created Oh, I think it's just driver and we're just gonna use this one to take the order so you can find orders and I already have a few orders that are pending so customer one two three four ordered Bob three two one is the one that we just placed so burger four and new burger is one so we're gonna accept that order and we accept it's now in progress so if we look at the customer which is Bob three two one and we refresh now his order is in progress and this status has in progress and it's the same invoice so then once the driver decides he's done he delivered it he can just complete order once that's done the order is now removed because it's no longer available nobody else can pick it up and he can check his analytics so he gets 10 percent cut of the of the what do you call it the, the order but as you can see, I, he already had some orders complete, so it has a different value. It's 3561, but if we go and we accept a different order that was already placed, and then we just complete it, and we go back and we check his analytics, his, his amount updates because he's paid every time he finishes an order. So that's good for that user. We're gonna log back into owner321, and we're gonna see the restaurant, the analytics. Now you can see this status is complete. That and the, the person who placed it, Bob321, the date, status, and the price. And this is the owner's total like money that he's earned. It doesn't, um, it shows all the items that were purchased and now the owner has like an analytics page where he can see. And since it's now done, the user, if you go back to the user account and refresh, it says complete and now you can leave a review so you can say the burgers were great but like maybe you weren't too happy you submit a review and now it's three stars right you go and then you look for the restaurant we're gonna look for that restaurant where is it here it is so you left that review it's a three-star rating and there's one review because you're the only one that reviewed it 
and your name is Bob, right? Because it's Bob321. So the burgers were great. Here's your review. And now this restaurant has a review now. So if you look at all restaurants, you can find it and it has a three star rating. Same with McDonald's. I already have some orders, some reviews on it. So that's the interaction between the review, the driver and the owner and the customers. So the, o the owner can see all of his earnings. I have another account that the owner of McDonald's, which I have already populated with more orders. Same thing with him. He can check out his analytics. He already has more orders complete. That means people ordered and the driver completed it. And this also updates the same as the customer when he checks his active orders. And the customer can pretty much just look for anything. If he tries to check out, shopping cart is empty. If he decides to log out, he can no longer place an order because he will be prompted to log in. So he can hit cancel, can't check out, can log in. So we do Bob321, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, log in. And now you're logged in. So now you can actually place the order and it prompts this again. So we're not going to place the order since we already did that. And that is pretty much the full functionality of the website. You can order, you can create, you can deliver, you can register as any one of them and set up your page. You can see your analytics. You can do the functionalities of each, each user. And here we have an about page founded and created in Suffolk County Community College. Check us out on the map. It's just a quick little like map where you can check out where the school is located. This is where I took my computer science class. This is the college. And that will be it for my presentation. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.